This videotape is a call for enlistment. We want you to join us in combating use of illegal drugs. Already drugs are taking a dreadful toll. Hundreds of thousands of people steal and mug every day to support the habit. Youngsters are ruined by crack before they have a real chance to live. Police and politicians are corrupted by rivers of dirty money. Addicts and their needles are the greatest danger in the AIDS plague. What's so incredible about this is that the drug problem is totally self-induced. No one asks to get cancer. No one asks for a heart attack. But drug use is totally voluntary. A lot of it may be because of ignorance. For instance, many parents, when they find that their children smoke marijuana, are grateful that it's not tobacco. But the truth is that marijuana today has a lot more cancer-causing ingredients than tobacco. And it's often the stepping stone to harder drugs like cocaine, and it's even more quickly addictive version, crack. And crack should terrify everyone. Over the last five years, cocaine-related emergency room treatments are up 300% and cocaine-related deaths are up 323%. And don't be misled by the thought that crack is an inner city or urban problem. It's in Kankakee and Pasadena and Norwalk. It has no geographic, ethnic, economic skew. It has no skew of any kind. Already, it's available to kids in the majority of our schools. And the first time a kid smokes crack, he has a 50% chance of becoming dependent upon it. And instantly, he becomes a prime candidate for a heart attack or stroke or epileptic type fit. That is to say that if a kid even tries crack, it might be all over for him. But people continue to use drugs because they believe that drugs will make them feel happy or popular or powerful. What they don't know is how quickly they can be hooked and how devastating it can be. We've simply got to tell them the truth. We're faced with a lot of misinformation, a lot of ignorance, but not stupidity. What we need to do is to change America's attitudes about drugs. People won't take drugs if they're persuaded that the costs outweigh the benefits. Once we change the attitudes, we can affect behavior. And that's the classic role of advertising. And so there was created the Media Advertising Partnership for a Drug-Free America. Representatives of the entire advertising industry, the people who create advertising, produce it, supply materials and talent for it, and the media have joined as partners dedicated to the proposition that not one more person should start using illegal drugs. To say that no use of any illegal drug is acceptable. Now we need your help. We need you to join our partnership for a drug-free America. Play this tape everywhere people congregate. Schools, places of worship, men's clubs, women's clubs, town meetings, everywhere. And then talk about it. Make your own plans to make any use of any illegal drug totally unacceptable. This is Walter Cronkite asking you to join the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. Doing drugs is like being on top of the world. Everyone says so. Everyone seems to be having one dandy old time. Hey, it's part of growing up. Or is it? Just think about this. Before you go and do something you've never done before, you just better know what you're jumping into. Only one drug is so addictive Nine out of ten laboratory rats will use it. And use it. And use it. Until dead. It's called cocaine. And it can do the same thing to you. Son. 
I figured when you were old enough, I'd talk to you about drugs. I tell you, they're nothing but poison. I tell you to stay away from the garbage that pushes that junk. Only I never figured that I ought to be telling that to a 13-year-old. If you don't teach your kids to say no to drugs, it's as good as saying yes. One gram of cocaine costs as much as a boombox. Three grams of cocaine costs as much as a TV. Seven grams, a trip to Paris. A gram a week for a year, a new car. If you're on coke, everything you work for is disappearing. Right under your nose. anyone out there who still isn't clear about what doing drugs does? Okay, last time. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? What's wrong with you? Tonsillitis? Appendicitis? Yeah! <laughs> Nobody's died of tonsillitis around here for a while. Appendicitis? Nothing to worry about. Scalpel? What if the joint were in somebody else's hand, like your surgeon, your lawyer, or your local policeman? Would you still say marijuana is harmless? Oh, no. No, let's see if I can still make a straight line. <laughs> Kid, all you gotta do is be cool. You just give this stuff to your best buddies. You take it to a party. Tell your friends it's a great high. They should just try it. Tell them you can't hurt them. I can do that. Yeah, it's easy. Those kids are gonna be a pushover. Because they like you. You're a hot shot, right? They'll love you for it. So how much do I charge? Right now, nothing. Nothing? Just give it away. Let him have a free taste. Then you watch. You watch and you see who comes back for more. And then I start charging. You're a smart kid. You have a good day at school, Billy boy. Lies beget lies. God, you sound like mother. Well, she happens to be right. Lying is a vicious circle and there's no way out except to tell the truth.
One out of every five people who try cocaine get hooked. But that's not your problem. Or is it? yours? No, I'm... Mother said she found it in your closet. I don't know. One of the guys must have... Must have what? Look, Dad, it's Where not... Where did you get it? Dad, Answer it's... me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. Look at this. The marijuana can mess you up. <laughs> right. We've been getting high for what? 15 years? Nothing's ever happened. Did I get into all the drugs and start mugging people? Nah. Didn't do anything. In fact, I'd say I'm exactly the same as when I smoked my first joint. Eddie, did you even look for a job today? No, Ma. Marijuana can make nothing happen to you, too. I got you covered. Just a couple hits. I don't have any money, please. What are you, stupid? No money, no crack. You understand? It dissolve. Lose yourself. Richie, come on, don't leave, please. Listen, shh, shh. You're gonna get that little red-headed girl. Charlotte? Both of you, she's gonna come over to my crib. Understand me? Then I'll take care of you. My friend Nancy's been doing a lot of drugs. I know it's catching up with her. I can see it coming. But what can I do? If I, like, say anything, she'll think I'm not cool. And I don't want to lose a friend. I mean, it's her life. Right? If you have a friend who's in trouble with drugs, don't just stand there. Do something. 